Why do you hate women? I wouldn't say I hate women. I just believe in certain roles. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> my name is Bailey. Uh, my name is Riley. I'm Charity. I'm Emily. I am Chauvin. I'm Peter. I'm I'm the anti-fascist. Uh, but feminist. Uh, anti-feminist. Sorry. Can you each take turns of defining what that means for you? I view feminism as a social movement advocating for the equality of all genders. My view is anti-feminist. We were born and raised, and actually we tend to lean in toward, towards those traditional ways, so. Why do you think we brought these two groups together? It's really relevant today. There's a lot going on in the climate, so I feel like there's maybe even tension between women in general because of it, yeah. so. Should we start with the shot? Sure. Sure. Alrighty. What are some stereotypes you've heard about feminists? Like I imagine somebody with like hairy armpits and like has period pad earrings and I'm like, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> what makes you like feel that way? I don't know. I feel like the media mostly. Sports bras and tiny pants and heels and trying to just go above and beyond to make it known that it's my body, I can do what I want with it and you can't do anything. I don't have sports bras or, or tiny <laughs> heels. Or... You're, you're not wrong. <laughs> I, stereotype, yeah. not 100%. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about body empowerment and doing everything you can with your body with whoever you please instead of waiting for the right person or ignoring the other sluts. people. They're sluts. <laughs> not sluts, but that not following, let's say nicely, the Ten Commandments per se, you know. Mm. Who gets laid more, feminist or anti-feminist? Uh, I would have to say feminists. Anti-feminists typically have a stereotype of not exactly being sympathetic or empathetic towards women. I can see that, but at the same time, I don't see how being uh, anti-feminist would delay a person from being sexually active. It's all stereotypes, but. I mean, I would like to hope that everybody's having some share of affection or love. Who gets laid more, feminists or anti-feminists? <laughs> I think feminists, just from what I've heard, especially from uh, friends of mine that are women, when they're on dating apps and such, they have someone that they think is you know in that kind of sphere of not a feminist or is a Trump supporter or something like that, then they'd swipe left. Are you a Trump supporter, Bailey? A hundred and ten percent. I I think he did a really good job at running the country. Since we're talking about feminism, what do you think of his comments on women? Um, you know, people do say things and do things, and I don't think that people should be held accountable, especially for things that happened, you know, years and years and years ago. People can say things and still be kind, genuine people. Um, this is a tough question. Oh God. Why do you hate women? Why? <laughs> is that really it? Is the question. My answer is I do not hate women at That's all. a good answer. <laughs> Why do you hate women? I don't hate women. The things that they're trying to stand for, I just think, is a little ridiculous. We, there's been so much time of us doing the same thing and why would we want to change that? I wouldn't say I hate women, I just believe in certain roles. I, I need to make <laughs> this very, very clear. I do not hate women. Every woman's beautiful in their own way. I think the definition of feminism has changed over the last 60, 70 years. I've seen it move towards focusing on women's rights and their reproductive rights towards being really hateful towards men and their ideals of what is masculine and what isn't. So if I'm understanding you correctly, you agree with the principles of feminism, but you don't agree with a certain segment of feminists who you perceive to be more man-hating than they are about advocating for equality. Yes. This is a patriarchal society that is antithetical to what feminism says, which is uh, we should all be equal. Define, it has in quotations, a woman. Define a woman. Yeah. Hmm. A woman itself is anyone who believes that they identify as a woman. I mean, gender to me is a social construct. I do feel that definitions are hard, yeah. but I do feel that a woman is somebody who was born with a vagina. That's it. 
that's, that's my definition of a woman. When you're defining words, it can be super tricky to like get the actual definition. Like, how would you define a chair? Uh, well, it has like a seat and a back and four legs. So a horse is a chair. Which group is more racist and why? Oh boy. This is a slam dunk for me, but I'm curious. I think anti-feminism is really pretty racist. I would agree. I'm more liberal on the side of anti-feminism. I think a lot of people who are more, um, more traditional are more racist towards that fact and are yep. willing just to stay with their groups. Why does racism have to come into it? Some of the first feminists were extremely racist um, and did not want to include people of color at all in the things really? that they were fighting for. Yes, that's why. Well, you just taught me something new. <laughs> <laughs> that's why women of different races were allowed to vote at different time periods throughout history. I honestly don't know. I might just take a shot because I can't answer that question. Can you answer the question? Yeah, I'd say generally I think anti-feminists are more Yeah, racist. I figured you'd say that. Why? Because there's typically um, a lot of beliefs that tend to go together. I disagree. I, I mean, and personally, I don't see skin color. You're a mm. human. I think it's an outdated phrase to say, I don't see color. And that was born out of not recognizing the different experiences people go through. For your, your case, you're saying you like to have a traditional kind of household. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything wrong with that if that's what you want. Mm -hmm. It's more about if you are trying to tell others the way that they should live and you're advocating, you know, politically voting for people or wanting laws to get passed that keep things a certain way that restrict people. Why change something that's worked so for so long? Maybe works for some people. Why are feminists not getting right? It's not about us versus them. Feminism at the end of the day is about the ability for us to be able to work together and pick the best viable person to do the job no matter what gender they are. Do you remember when Trump first got elected and there were the women's rights riots? Yeah. And people had like the little pink hats with the cat ears, with the pussy hats. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know what they were called. It makes me think a lot about white feminism and the way that feminism is expressed. Like me included to have to like check themselves at every point and be like, am I, am I listening to people more marginalized than me? Or am I like getting really excited about a movement and like doing something performative, like wearing a pink hat with cat ears and yeah. Give feminists one compliment or take a shot. Yeah, I'm taking a shot right now. <laughs> Let's take a shot and I'll give you all okay. a crop away. Clink, clink. I will say that I think feminists, radical or not, are real strong. Try to beat one down with your words. I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> I think feminists are amazing in the way of they've made birth control, condoms more accessible, and I think as well as promoting there being male birth control as well. All right, game's over. Right. Um, how was that? That was really fun. Good, Good conversation. conversation. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's conversations that people need to have. Yeah, I liked it. That was yeah. good. It was way, I was prepared for way worse. Cool. Better than I thought. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> I think it was good. I felt like y'all were coming here expecting more tension. Intact. Yeah. And you all got along. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.